Welcome back to you, Pumpkin. This advice is going to get everybody wrecked. And yes, I really do mean that. 100x is not reasonable. So I'm not picking on anybody who types like this, but I'm just, just here to tell you, right? Because we're here to learn, aren't we? So look what this person says. If you're not already rich, it's extremely reasonable to expect you will be able to 100x your portfolio in the next crypto bull market over the next 12 months. Focus on small caps with real dedicated, incorrectly incentivized teams solving a real problem. Now, it's one thing to say, just focus on teams, just buy the good stuff. It's another thing to say that's another thing to do it because you have no idea what people want to be solved. You don't know. You think you know. You're watching teams on average say, oh, wow, you know, people need to trade Telegram trading bots. That's great. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know what? People think they need it but they're going to need it for the short run, but then they're going to realize it's trash and it's all garbage, and then they're going to go move on to something else. So the time frames are literally nearly impossible to pick because there's going to be things that are good, and you're like, wait a minute, this is kind of like a one-season thing. People realize it's trash after. And then there's other things that take so long to play out. For example, Chainlink with strong fundamentals. So, so what do you do, right? The answer is no one knows, and you're on your own. My answer is... You should be liking, subscribing, belly button and all because I've been telling you for a long time, two plus years, to buy in the depression. We buy strong core altcoins. Pulse Chain is real DeFi has 180 content creators. I like those fundamentals. What problem does it solve? Eh, people need friends. How about that? It's a network. That's all you need to do. People want to hang out. Now, of course, people want to hang out, add value, make money, do stuff on digital cyberspace. Of course, it's tongue in cheek when I talk like that. And of course, you're going to get an out of body experience, friends. We're going to crank it. Don't worry. We're still going to make it. But 100x, 100x, friends, think, just think for yourself. Usually, when people find they 100x, they realize after they're up like eight, in the final bull market, and then it reverts back to break even. They realize that there was an ICO in their coin who were already up 10x when they bought. That's usually the 100x's. It's not the 100x for you, for outsiders like me, us together. It's not 100x for them. It's, out, it's 100x for the insiders, on average, for most people, most coins. But I'll tell you this, right? In the last cycle, Ethereum did a 50x. You saw it, you know? Like, you can't. We all know Ethereum went from the low and absolutely crushed it, didn't it? From the very, very low, Ethereum did, here you go, 54x, even higher. But 95% of people still round trip their money. So the lesson here is that even when there is a strong blue chip core leader doing insane amount of gains, firstly, you can't even buy that bottom to get 100x. Secondly, you're going to screw it up. I know, man, the crowd buys on green candles. You all buy on green candles. You got to be dedicated to buying the red candles. You might say, oh, I want the cheap prices. No, everyone says that. You just don't really. It was hell for the past two years. I have my own family friends, and we all felt this. They're like, man, I just don't want to buy on this red anymore. I just, I'd rather literally pay up plus 200% to get in because it feels better. I know. They were literally, I, I know, after two years, that's what the bear market does. Mr. J Plus also adds a very, very good comment. You'll do well to invest in a single coin that does 100x, right? He goes, but there's a huge difference between 100x in a coin and then seeing your actual portfolio do 100x. So that's in really, really important so that everybody's aware. When you make a 100x in a coin, what they don't tell you is their list of coins was like 13 coins deep. So you had to split between all of them. You got 100x somewhere, right? Which is great, right? That's still 10x is everything, but... How much are you going to put when you got to split something 13 ways? Because you might have 20 grand to your whole portfolio. You ain't putting 20 grand in one coin when it's a small cap or mid cap or any of this other stuff, the type of junk stuff, new fluff that's going to appear in 2024. Also, I got a friendly reminder as well, friend. So don't be stressed about any of these. Look, if you like, I'm always thinking about the future. What, what's the best optimal way to do things now? Well, when it comes to total altcoins, during the Bitcoin halvening year, more garbage starts appearing to, to buy. More short-term stuff that lures everybody in. That start, that's the, it starts to appear. And it starts, it's gonna, probably going to start literally January 2024 next year, just in a few months. You're just going to say, oh, wow, this project's coming out, this big project. 
because they know they're timing the cycle. They're timing the cycle. I bought all my coins. I bought Solana. I bought everything. They timed it in the Bitcoin halvening year. Not a coincidence, okay? I thought it was a coincidence. No, it wasn't. You go to my results. Most of these coins, when I was, to my shock, I went back and I checked like, wow, a lot of these coins launched in the bull market specifically. They just refused to launch beforehand. Don't forget, this is going to appear again. We might not get this. I'm just telling you, I don't know even if we're going to, I don't know. Maybe there's just too many coins. There may be just too many coins. I don't know if we're going to be convicted on much. That's why we prepared for this. That's why I kept telling you, hey, man, yeah, I like things like Pulse Chain, Pulse X, and Hex, Real DeFi. I love Chainlink, right? The prices are moving now, but I mean, like, what do we do now? The, your best thing to hope for, as I've said from before, is you just, you got to wait for a pullback, accept lower returns, and that's it. But most people aren't going to accept lower returns. That's a catch 2022. They're going to beg for higher returns. Because crypto's gains are diminishing and it's getting more competitive. And look how competitive it really is getting. Remember, Bitcoin was the only big daddy in town. And now look at this. All right, so we have a Bitcoin maxi saying the spot ETF is now is overrated, right? The spot ETF, the rock and ETF. This is a BTC maxi. All right, BTC maxi. Giving institutions a new vehicle to invest doesn't necessarily mean that they will invest. It's true, though. All of it's true. But scroll down the comments. Look what this person said. Bitcoin spot ETF, bullish. But when the Ethereum spot ETF drops, actually, the spot ETFs aren't that bullish. Do you see? Do you see, friends? It's a tribe. It's a game. It's a game. Bitcoiners do the same thing. They've just convinced everybody that they are special. And kudos to them because they really are. I mean, the tribe of Satoshi is very strong. I mean, you're talking to someone with a freaking buy Bitcoin logo sign in my freaking, in my avatar. So I understand it. It's the greatest. There's no leader, man. They took it over. But just because there's no leader doesn't mean it doesn't have diminishing gains. Yes, it does. So you just got to be aware of this. Everyone's playing a game. We're not necessarily guaranteed such that we should take profits in Bitcoin or it's anything particularly useful. We're not guaranteed that. I hope it is. I believe in my, I can't, I believe it is. I believe there's higher odds, but you just, you don't want to repeat 2021, okay? Ugh, look, I hate to repeat it. There are people who jumped off buildings in 2022. There are people, they're, they're, they're longer, long, no longer with us because of the pain. If I can just help one person trim something before the big collapse, trim something, man. Just trim something when there's euphoria. Just listen to the contrarian friend for once, just once just a bit, then I'm going to be a very, very happy squirrel because you're going to see some wild stuff, man. You're going to see some wild stuff. And I love this picture. This is the FTT token. It went from a dollar to $3.20. There were rumors from corrupt chairman SEC Gensler saying they might reboot FTX. Now, let me, let me tell you something about the reason why that's going on, friends. That's because... They have got to get FTX back on the road because it was such an embarrassment that their Ponzi went to zero and they embarrassed the government and all the bribes. They are working in overdrive. They got to they got to get this fixed immediately. Okay, so FTX coin is poop. Now you're gonna see poop rally in the bull market, and unfortunately, it's gonna go much further and much harder and much longer than you can contemplate. And same as me. And I'm not necessarily, I'm not talking about FTT. I'm just talking about poop and random stuff. We've seen nothing yet. It's going to get really stupid. And you probably say, oh, which one, which one, of, which one of the coins are they? We don't know, man. There's like, there's 4,000 stupid coins. Picking the one that goes up, yeah. No chance. But at least, you know, these are warning signs. This is end of move times so people once bitcoin for example once bitcoin's up once bitcoin's up heaps okay people's portfolios are up a lot they're feeling richer it just happens in the economy you know when everyone's feeling rich they start buying luxury watches they start buying the diamond pearl necklace for their little puppy for example little dog little chihuahua so these types of things happen when the psychological wealth effect is in full force and if bitcoin the heart of crypto is up so much. Well, you see, I don't even want to say so much. You're just going to have to think when it's up, that's it. 
If Bitcoin's green and you start seeing stupid stuff, that's it. Because what what are Bitcoin people going to tell you? They're going to go, dude, we're only up 20% in like two months. That's what they're going to say. But, but maybe that's the whole move. That could literally be the whole move. And then that 20%, you'll see it exhaust itself by garbage starting to move much harder than you can possibly think. These are end of time things. This is the equivalent of dog coins going absolutely ballistic in the final month. You know, when everybody just thought it was getting started. So we're going to be on our toes for that one. You know, it's just funny that they bought the locusts of DGENs want to buy these and do these things. And, you know, don't be lured to any of these because people are going to sell their core coins to go participate in these. But don't, don't, don't. You're going to be end up buying the top, take a 30% haircut. Then when you go back to the core altcoin, you're not even going to witness the nice 30 to 40 minimum X in some of these places just because you slice yourself 30% here, 50% here. You don't want to be participating in that. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all love, and appreciate every single one of you. Catch you soon.